Jurisdet Kivanok, dear ladies and gentlemen, it's an honor to welcome you, the representative mm -hmm. of the Hungarian business community, at this diversity and award-giving event. On behalf of the Embassy of the Kingdom of the Netherlands, I'm glad to host this important event and sign the Hungarian Diversity Chart today at this beautiful venue, which has a strong link with New York, the city of diversity. A topic which is personally very close to my heart. As you might know, I have Greek and Dutch roots. My father arrived in 1970 to the Netherlands, in a time that the military dictatorship ruled Greece. In these days, there were already 10,000s of Hungarians in the Netherlands, a country which is open, inventive and inclusive. Our keynote speaker, who has just arrived from Amsterdam to join us, and I'm very happy and honored that you're here, Istvan Kapitani, the Vice President of Royal Dutch Shell, will elaborate more on this subject. And another great uh, example is Jan Katanya, a Dutch-Hungarian undertaking which helps people with autism problems to integrate into labor market with help of SPAR, inspiring speakers on diversity. A Greek philosopher already stated 500 years before Christ, quote, diversity leads to perfect harmony. What a wisdom, more than 2,000 years ago, and so true. We don't get in harmony when everybody sings the same note. Only notes that are different can harmonize. The same is so true for people. We need different notes in our organizations to be successful. We need a good mix of people with different gender, sexual orientation, abilities, age and cultural backgrounds. A Dutch CEO of a multinational once said, diversity and inclusiveness are crucial for the future of my company. It is a business model and not just something nice to do or because it is a hype or sounds sexy. So it's very simple. Diversity and inclusion drive business revenues and profits. I don't have to explain the importance of diversity to you. But you also know that outside of this room, we have to convince quite some people. We have still a long way to go together. Because most people still prefer to be surrounded by the same kind of people and thoughts and don't want to be diverse. Action is needed. Action is needed now. Real commitment at the top is crucial. And I'm very proud that the managing board of the Dutch Ministry of Foreign Affairs put diversity at the heart of our organization. Exactly, and that's the only place where it, where it belongs. We can only achieve our common goal if we make diversity a top priority. Three important steps. Firstly, diverse recruitment. We need to attract more diverse group of people. We should approach different kinds of networks. For example, I myself, the chairman of the Bicultural Network for uh, Diversity at the Ministry of Foreign Affairs. And with our members, we are going to give presentation with our Human Resource Department in The Hague uh, at university with a lot of students with an immigrant background. I'm very proud that our Human Resource Department could attract this year new brilliant diplomats with a bicultural background. 15% of the new diplomatic class and 25% of our interns have an immigrant background. Secondly, support and coaching. If we finally have these new colleagues with different backgrounds, the next step is to support and coach them during their careers. I see too many people dropping out because they are not fully accepted on the work floor. We have to encourage and support them. For example, the Dutch Special Envoy for Smart City, for Smart for Startups, Prince Constantine, decided not to participate in a panel discussion 
anymore if there are not 50% women in that panel. And as I look around here, I'm very glad to know that our list of speakers is very balanced tonight. Bravo. In the third place, break through the glass ceiling. We have to push very hard together to break the glass ceiling. It's not easy, but if we can push together, we will succeed to break it. I hear the days too many, yes, but. Yes, diversity is important, but the person doesn't fit in the team. Yes, it is important, but this is not helping diversity. Yes, but. Stop the yes, but and start to act. In my hometown, Rotterdam, we have a saying, no words, but deeds. I'm glad that the current Dutch government has 24 ministers, of whom 11 are women and 13 men. Almost half is female. This week, the Dutch parliament voted in favor of a quota requiring the boards of listed company to make sure that at least 30% are women. Great developments. Ladies and gentlemen, you are all diversity's champions. And I'm honored to give later an award to a very special champion, President of the Hospital Association, Dr. Andrea Fitzer, for her great work on diversity and leadership. We still have a long way to go, and only together we can make our companies and organization more diverse and inclusive. We need two things. It is not enough to be only invited at the party, but also invited to dance. So diversity and inclusion. We only can achieve this together. And let me end, therefore, with an African proverb. If you want to go fast, go alone. If you want to go far, go together. Let's go far. Let's go far together. Let's make our companies more diverse and inclusive right now. Kusnem.